Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We are so glad you're here. I'm Julie Moran. Good morning. I'm Olga Viverdi. All right, we have beauty secrets on today's show. We love beauty secrets. It's our favorite, right? Yes. Well, this one has to do with bees. Bees. Yes, I'm so curious. What's the buzz? Well, <laughs> we're going to learn more about an all-natural, nutrient-rich skincare collection. Is my skin going to glow? It's going to glow. Is it going to be refreshed? Yes, absolutely. I love it. We're also going to discover the latest advances in non-invasive weight loss procedures. And I hear they're pretty good. Absolutely. Plus, online education and ways to keep your cars and family clean and germ-free. So much on today's show. I love it. The balancing act starts right now. I accomplished something that I promised my mother years ago before she died that I said I would finish. And here it is, I finished. Everyone thinks they're too busy to get a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD. Well, today we'll meet someone who got both his bachelor's and master's while serving our country. Welcome U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Phil Jandro and Dr. Holly Orozco, Dean of the Colleges of Health Science and Education from Trident University. We are so happy to have you on set today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We're happy to be here. All right, doctor, let's start with you. Um, Trident has so many distinctions, starting with its academic foundations, and I want you to tell me a little bit about that. That. Yes, Trident is unique, and the founders began an educational platform with graduate level programs. Most of our competitors began building their foundation with bachelors and then moving on to PhD. The learning model that they created was special and unique for PhD programs, really, but it, it applies to all of our students, and that is it's case-based, and mm -hmm. so students have to do a lot of research um, from peer-reviewed journals to solve real-world problems. Trident was the first fully online WASC accredited institution, which is the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Okay. It's the same accreditation that USC, UCLA, and some of those institutions, of fine education institutions have. And we were the, the, that means our PhD programs were the first online fully accredited um, institutions. That's quite amazing. Yes. That's quite an accomplishment. Yes. Trident continues to develop bachelor's and master's and doctoral programs across its colleges to meet the, the workforce demands. That's so great. Students. And Command Sergeant Major, I want to start with you right now. You're a highly decorated veteran. You served in Operation Iraqi Freedom. You're also a graduate of Trident University, summa cum laude, I might add. You're pretty impressive, let me tell you that. Tell us more about the specific needs of a military student. Well, you know, as a military student, you know, you're going to deploy anywhere in the world because that's what we do. And wherever you deploy, and that particular spot is going to be your classroom. So you don't have the same ability to go to a brick and mortar institution like many other students may be able to do. Of course So not. you can want to continue your military career as you continue with your, mil your uh, academia education. That is so great. And how proud are you of Trident's commitment to America's military? I I'm extremely proud of Trident and their, their commitment because, you, you know, it, it tells me every day that you don't have to wear a uniform to be a patriot. Mm. Because so many people at the uniform want to continue to give back to our service members and help them be able to better their lives and be able to get their degree because we know you have to sharpen your mind just like you sharpen your bayonet and the critical thinking skills that the university brings forward teaches you how to think as opposed to what to think. Well said and tell me about I've heard about this graduation Trident's graduation uh, that it just seems like it's so special. Yeah, the graduation is amazing because you you have the people that work at the university, the staff and the faculty included, they volunteer for that weekend to be there because they want to watch their students walk across that stage. Because when they walk across the stage, all the people that helped them get there to that day, and then the culminating moment is uh. when they walk across that stage and everybody is able to see them walk across. It's like you're walking across the stage with them and you're graduating along with them. And you've oh. been there. Tell me about that yes. experience. Uh, the students, as they come up to get their diploma, a couple of them have actually come out of their way and out of line to shake my hand and just to thank me for an academic decision that I made on their behalf, their degree plan. This is so inspiring. We are so lucky and blessed to have a university like this that's so committed to our military. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Great. And for more information on Trident University, go to trident.edu or thebalancingact.com and remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well.
It's time to get real today, and I mean get real about an issue many of us can sometimes become consumed with, our problem areas. You know what I'm talking about, the areas that we battle with, the areas we obsess over, and yet often we just feel like it's hopeless. Well, we hit the streets and heard from real women to find out what parts give them fits when it comes to getting fit. And here's what they had to say. Is my booty. <laughs> Uh, definitely my thighs. Oh, my stomach area. <laughs> so my ab section gives me a fit. Abdominal area, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, and just the trunk in general. Okay, I can relate, and I'm joined by a doctor who hears these plights day in and day out at his practice in Las Vegas, Sin City. We have a VIP doctor here today. Please welcome Dr. Chris Corsandi from VIP plastic surgery. Good morning. Thank you very much. VIP, Thank I like that. Yeah, it's part of the whole experience. We think that when patients walk through the door, we want them to feel like they are the center of our focus. And it's not that we're a vain culture, but there's things about us that we would like to change. And one of those areas is around the area of the stomach and the love handles. It's after we get to a certain point in our age, nothing stops it. It's diet resistant fat. And you can be in the gym all day long. You could eat clean, you can exercise, but for some reason the love handles just don't go away. And that's genetically programmed to be there, you know? So we have solutions for that. And I don't think it's vain because a lot of people will tell me, oh, you know, you can't be perfect. I get it, there's no way we can be perfect, but today we are a society that we're talking a little bit more about it. We're a little bit more open we're, we're, we're and done, the trend is done, changing. It's not longer a secret to say, I'm gonna have cosmetic surgery We're and done why not? shaming people for cosmetic surgery. Today for those trouble areas, the stomach, the love handles, we have a procedure called liposonics. And we're gonna look at it right now. Tell me what we're seeing here. So what liposonics is, it's high intensity focused ultrasound. And, and what, uh, what that sounds like, it's a lot of you know, technical stuff, but imagine as a Boy Scout or Girl Scout, you take a magnifying glass, you focus the rays of the sun into a little pinpoint, heats things up, you can burn things. Same thing happens with ultrasound. Now ultrasound that you get from your OBGYN, the energy is not focused, mm -hmm. but if you focus those rays into a cone, you can actually melt fat. Couple questions, non-invasive? Non-invasive. Does it right really through, hurt? Right through the skin. Comfortable, feels warm, but you will see some change with it. And, and so, you're in and out quickly? One hour, one treatment, one inch off the waistline. We do have some before and afters that I'd like to share with our viewers. Please. It has to do with, I think, the stomach and the flank area. So talk to me about where we're looking here and what you did for these women. So these are um, basically before and afters, looking at one treatment after liposonics, you know, abdomen and flanks. And what you can see is that there's an improvement between the before and after. These aren't, um, and you know. And there are big differences here. Well, the nice differences, you know, and this is great because you come in once and you can see a change. You're in, you're out, you're back to what you need to do. And they're getting the results they want. And they are. And that's the beauty of it. And see, that's what technology does. You know, companies like Solta, they bring technology into our hands that allows us to do things that patients want. They come in and say, hey, isn't there something better than going through surgery? And I say, yes, we have this alternative. Now, there are patients that wish to go to the next level. You know, high definition liposculpture, things mm -hmm. where they want to actually define their abdominal muscles, things like that. That's, you know, that's surgery. But for the patient who just wants to lose an inch, hey, we have it. We have it now. And it's not that commitment it used to be. And you know what's great? Social media has driven so much of this that people, like you said, are bragging. Oh, I, I just got out my I treat. commend a woman that does it and a man, it's like, go for it. I can't tell you how many times patients say, hey, can I, can I take a selfie while we're doing this? And I say, <laughs> And sometimes I have to pause and say, I, yeah, I, I, I'm sure. like, sure, why not? Yeah. It's become so commonplace. And the confidence is really a, a huge factor after and how they feel about themselves. Look, it's you, personal choice. You, you cannot separate the personality and how we feel from how we look. You just can't. Your personality is so tied to your appearance and everybody has it. Sometimes you catch yourself in the mirror and you'll walk by and go, hey, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Every one of us wants to take care of ourselves. I have patients that come in and when they come back for their checkup, they say, doc, you made me feel better about myself. You made my relationships better because I feel better about myself. And that's what we want. We want people to feel good about themselves, go out into the world, feel important, feel like they have their life under control and not be fixated on this little area. Important to note that if you're gonna do a procedure like this, you've really gotta get a good place to go. You need to go and find somebody who knows what they're doing, board certification matters, uh, if you want to find more information about liposonics, you can go to VIPplasticsurgery.com or you can follow me at Doc Vegas on Instagram. And you can learn more about the latest advancements in body contouring and other non-invasive procedures at VIPplasticsurgery.com. That's VIPplasticsurgery.com. Or go to our website, thebalancingact.com.
buzz today about yet another benefit of bees. This time we're discussing bees and their role in skincare. Yes, skincare, and we are not talking about honey. Joining us for this discussion is Wendy Orbach, skincare director of Jafra Cosmetics International. We also have Jafra independent consultants, Chris Brain and Jennifer Knight. Welcome, ladies, to the show. Hi, welcome. It's One of my to be favorite here. topics: skincare, fantastic, and anti-aging. <laughs> All right, Wendy, I have to confess that this is really news to me about talking about something with bees, but we're not discussing honey. No, we're talking about royal jelly. Okay. And it's found in the honeycomb. Okay. And it's what's fed to the queen bee exclusively, and it's the reason she lives 40 times longer than her worker bees. Oh, did we... Audience, 40 times longer? Do we want to look 40 times younger, too? Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, now, what is royal jelly exactly, and, and how does it relate to skincare? Yeah, so royal jelly is a nutrient-rich substance. It's rich and creamy and it is packed with vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, all essential for skin health, particularly as we age. And I understand that Jaffra was one of the very first companies to incorporate royal jelly into their skincare line. Yeah, that's true. We've been the expert in royal jelly for over 60 years, wow. and we were one of the first companies to put it in a skincare line. But royal jelly's been around since Cleopatra's time. Oh, I like that. Did she know about it back then? Yeah. You're it's kidding been me. used since ancient Roman times, even, in skincare. That's amazing. All right, so Chris and Jennifer, um, you're here because you work with women, and you really... Um, you know, you're such great consultants when you, when you work with your clients. And what is the main thing that your clients are looking for in skin care? Oh, my clients are looking for the latest, greatest in anti-aging products. They want products that are easy to use and fast but deliver serious results. Products that make their skin look younger, longer. Uh, aren't we all? Yes. How about yours? <laughs> A common skincare concern that I have from my clients, both men and women, is uneven skin tone, whether that be from sun damage or skin spots. So something with a good SPF 50 would be a great source of protection, like our new Royal Jelly Solar Protection. Excellent. And Wendy, you say that, you know, our skin changes all the time as we age in different, you know, places in our life where things are happening. How can we really keep good skin through everything? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you're like me, but my skin doesn't just change throughout the year, it changes throughout the month. <laughs> yeah. So I find that depending on how I eat, how much sure. sleep I've got, exercise, what the weather's like, and certainly hormonal fluctuations, mm -hmm. my skin changes from day to day. And so, in the past, I've always used the exact same skincare product no matter what was going on with my skin. But now we have a really simple system to address this. We have three vitamin infusions and each has a targeted vitamin. Wow. And they are designed to address specific conditions within the skin. So you can simply and easily adjust your routine that day to meet those needs. Now that's something that's new. I really mm -hmm. haven't heard of that in skincare. And, and you also have a nutritional supplement, is that's that right? right? That's right. And how important is that? This whole system takes a bi-directional approach to skincare, which is really new. It's treating skin both from the inside and the outside. Because beauty really comes inside out. That's you right. Know, it starts inside first. Now what is this, sci you've got a scientific looking tool here that I was playing with before. What is this? So that's our revitalizing sonic cleanser. Okay. It's uh, completely new to the market and what it does is you use it with your cleansing milk and it's clinically proven to oh work gosh, even better than cleansing by hand or washcloth. Ooh, that feels great and this is like pocketbook. You could, I yeah, could keep it's this a great in my size. Purse. I travel all the time. It's just a perfect size. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, love that. That's new and that's new on the market. And that really is completely new. Perfect. Yeah. Ladies, I just want to say one last bit of information you'd love to tell our viewers about Jafra. I just love that Jafra is never satisfied. They are always working to be the best that they can possibly be. We're always discovering new, latest, greatest ingredients and, and new colors and uh, right on trend with things. I just love the company's always moving forward. What about you, Jennifer? 
I love that the company is always introducing something new. We have something exciting to look forward to each month. I love when I can just get home at the end of the day and I look forward to putting on my products and laying down. I just feel so invigorated. I am with you on that. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Great information. And I love that, you know, beauty's born of bees and not necessarily honey this time, right? <laughs> All right, to learn more about Joffre and how royal jelly can be a part of your beauty routine, visit JoffreUSA.com or our website, TheBalancingAct.com. And we'll see you next time. Okay, busy moms, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but how many times have you said, I practically live in my car? The average American spends more than 18 and a half hours in their car every week. Unfortunately, there's something else living in our car, bacteria. In fact, your steering wheel, get this, oh, this is so gross. It has nine times more bacteria than a public toilet seat. Here to get your ride fresh and clean this morning, and it's gonna smell so much better after this, is Jelen Carrillo from Refresh Your Car. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, I gotta repeat this again. Nine <laughs> times more bacteria than a toilet seat in my steering wheel. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Yeah, actually, scientists have found over 200 types of bacteria per square centimeter in the average car. And what kind of bacteria is lurking in there? Oh my gosh, just two to name a few. A Staphylococcus or Staph, which you hear about quite a bit. Okay, and tell um, me what that is, Staph. So Staph is an infection that if you get it, chills, boils, So it could really dysentery. make you sick. It makes you sick. Ugh. So th these are things that are inside your car and you don't even know it. We need to look for something that's really designed for the car kills the bacteria, make sure that you have that clean odor eliminating to get the bacteria that lurks in there that we often smell. Um, but also protecting it from the harmful UV rays, really protects your car, but also does all of those amazing healthy benefits of killing the bacteria as well as leaving that great fresh scent behind. So what can I use to not only kill the bacteria, which is really important because it keeps my girls healthy and sure. me as well, but keeps my car smelling clean because I'm into smell. So this is a great product. It's by Refresh your car. It's an antibacterial car wipe. So okay. it's designed for the vehicle and you can have a, a great smell there. Yes. Um, this is the Hawaiian Sunrise fragrance and it actually sanitizes your car. And then it also leaves behind that great fragrance that you're smelling and then it protects it. So it conditions the interior, whether it's your dash, your steering wheel, your seats, your seat belt baby car seats, anything that you touch. I mean, you think about everything that you touch in your car. You use this and that really gets it, you know, nice, clean and fresh. We actually have a formulation just for leather seats. So it has that leather conditioner in there as well. And speaking of sanitizing and odor elimination, you have some more here. So tell me what this is. So that's actually the to-go pouch. It's one of my favorite things because I can just put it in, put it in my jockey box. I can always have it with me. Um, so it's just a great little pouch. It's great. That's actually a different fragrance. Just nice, oh clean and gosh, fresh. Oh my smells so good. Good. It's really great. Oh, I love really this. Great. Okay, I'm and, taking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you're done cleaning and sanitizing your car with these great wipes, then we have this is cute. Yeah, just different air fresheners. So this is actually from our Bahaman company, and it kind of takes you back to that last <gasps> island vacation. This is and, great. And then these are just an item that goes into your vent. Oh. Um, the air goes over it. It really gives you a nice, delightful fragrance in your car. It's just kind of a fun, kind of brings you back once again. And they're in the same fragrances as the wipes, so you kind of have that layering effect and you get that nice fill. This is really great. And I know you also spend a lot of time blogging, social media, educating moms. Tell me about that. Sure, we actually have a campaign. It's one of the best part of our jobs is we get to educate moms about the need for this item. They don't even know that, that there's a solution for a problem they have. So what we're doing is we're really reaching out to the mommy bloggers and just saying, hey, you, do you know your cars are so dirty? Mm -hmm. Let's really talk about this. We've been educated as moms to clean the kitchen with these antibacterial wipes. Let's make sure that we're also focused on the vehicle. This has been great. Thank you so much. I gotta tell you, I will say I do believe my car is clean, but <laughs> this is gonna really help in terms of knowing the bacteria is gone and mm, this smells good. Great. And now that you know how dirty your car is, head straight over to refreshyourcar.com or head to thebalancingact.com and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.
Hope you learned some things on today's show. I know I did. Uh, especially anything with the face. We yeah. love that. We love that. And so much great information on our website. Check it out, thebalancingact.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, remember, you know you're glowing this morning. <laughs> Find your balance. So long, everybody. <laughs>